hi there so i thought i'll bring to you a video about the gopro hero 7 silver camera that i recently bought from a retailer in chandigarh in india and it didn't quite work uh, it started giving me issues from day one so it started turning off by itself it uh, would take a footage of 20 seconds or 30 seconds and it would freeze or uh, when I turned it on it would go to the file repairing mode as you can see in the footage that I've put up so this footage is about how to update your camera manually and also if it doesn't work how to return your camera so the process of returning the camera through the UPS courier service that GoPro generally uses has changed a bit which I'm going to discuss uh, up ahead in the video. So right now I'm going to tell you how exactly to update your uh, GoPro camera using a desktop or a laptop. Uh, this is the exact procedure that was told to me by the customer service guys before they actually said that I needed to return the camera now. So this is what you need to do. You need to take the SD card out of your camera and insert it into the compatible card reader or directly depending upon the model of the laptop that you're using. And you need to insert that SD card into the USB slot of your laptop. Now open the SD card on your laptop and keep this window open. Next Google the words GoPro update manually. Then it will ask you if you would like to update your camera using GoPro app or with other ways to update. So you need to click on other ways to update option and update your camera manually. Then it will ask you to enter some important information about your camera like the 14 digit serial number and your email address. The serial number is located next to the slot for the SD card on your camera. Check both the boxes for agreement on terms and conditions and press next step. Now you make sure that all this while your SD card is inserted in the laptop. Do not take it out because you will be needing it in the near future. So once the download is getting completed, you need to go to the desktop and create a new folder on the desktop named update. Make sure that you place the folder on the desktop where it is easily accessible. When the download gets complete, you need to check the folder with the download. You will see some files that have been downloaded in it. In my case, I had three files, one VLC file, one doc file and another setup file. It could be different in your case depending upon the update that you are downloading. Copy these files in the update folder that you have created on the desktop. Now you need to send this folder, the update folder, to the SD card that the window that you had opened earlier on. So send, do not copy this file or do not copy this folder, send this folder to the SD card folder that you have opened. Now remove the card from the USB slot and insert it in the camera. The way you need to insert the card is the copper tabs should be facing the screen side. Once you insert the card, close the lid and turn on your camera.
Your camera will make a lot of beeping sounds and it will show you a folder with an arrow sign. Once you see this sign, that means that the update is getting uploaded. The camera will, will turn on and turn off many times. Uh, in my case, it took about 15 minutes. It kept on doing that and once uh, it stops turning on and off, your update is complete. You can check your camera should be working fine. If your camera still doesn't work, you need to get in touch with the GoPro customer service and let them know about the issue. In my case, they asked me to make a whole video of the, uh, the reason I wanted to return the camera and the issue I was facing with it. That's the footage that you actually see in the video as well. And put it up on YouTube, send the link to them. They raised a ticket and sent it to me via email and I had to upload the link of that video that I made along with certain other information that they asked and send it to them. Once they reviewed it, they sent me a return label of UPS and they asked me to return the camera, send it to the nearest UPS center that I had um, in my city. However, when I went to the UPS um, return center, they told me that they couldn't return the uh, camera for me because the Indian government had recently come up with an update that any individual as a citizen cannot personally send out any equipment or any kind of electronic gadget that has an inbuilt memory or inbuilt battery uh, to, the, to any other company outside of India. So because I own a GoPro Hero 7 Silver, it has an inbuilt battery, it cannot be removed. Um, however, the memory card could be removed, but uh, it did not match the norms and they refused to send out the camera. I contacted the GoPro customer service again and they asked me to return the camera to the retailer that I had bought it from and he would be doing the needful provided I gave him all the documentation that they had sent me. Also they told me that in case there was any kind of issue I could uh, do a three-way conferencing between them and get the issue resolved. So that's the procedure that you need to follow in case you need to return the camera um, that is a Hero 7 Silver series um, or any other camera that GoPro has that has an inbuilt battery. I hope you liked the video. So in case you have any further questions, you can ask me in the comments below. I can help as much as I can with all the information that I have gathered in the process of returning this camera. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.